Ladies and gents, people of YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. So, a few days ago, I went and I bought this 85 250R that has a CR500 engine in it. And it's a bit rough. <clears throat> and the thing's got a lot of oil on it and all that good stuff. So I figured it's about 90 degrees today. It's Sunday, not feeling like getting into anything uh, too serious. So let's give this thing a bath and see what we're really working with and we'll get a better idea of what we gotta do to fix everything. So here she is and like I said, she's a bit rough, but it's all there as far as the engines there and the chassis there, which is uh, you know, the main things we need to build a cool, cool little project. But yeah, I wanna take the gas tank off and let's spray the thing down, give it a simple green bath oh the engine is just covered i'd love to get to the engine numbers so i can figure out what year it is um this is going to be a major issue whatever hack hillbilly did this i oh my goodness so yeah we're gonna have to take the engine out and split the cases to uh to fix that mess but that's a job for another day today i kind of just want to make a list and like i said get an idea of what we're looking at I, uh, I'm still really stoked on this thing. It's pretty badass, regardless of, of the hackery that went on. So besides the uh, sprocket shaft issue, um, a couple other things. This cover broken. I don't really think this goes to that motor. I don't know, doesn't line up right. Looks awful, awful crazy. And then motor mount wise, they got some kind of rod on this side, but on this other side, oh my God goodness what in the heck is that that looks horrible so obviously that's going to have to get changed the uh air filter setup carburetor thing i don't know what they got going on here i think that these engines came with a flat side carburetor if i remember um correctly my other cr500 definitely has a flat slide so yeah um Electrical wise, that's gonna look like a nightmare. This radiator is leaking from under here when I was riding it, it was spitting out on my leg. So those are all things right away that I can see that's just trashed, but that's okay. Cause if we have the engine out, we're gonna go through it and make it perfect anyways. And then as far as motor mounts, I feel like I can make something out of aluminum that would look way better and would be stronger. Um, hopefully I can get some pictures from guys that have these things that have done the swap and take a look at what they did and maybe that'll save me some time and fabrication. But first things first, let's just get all the grease off this because this bike is filthy. So this is a uh, interesting discovery here. We got multiple layers of paint. Uh, there's silver on the outside and then a red first coat and it is coming off no problem. So I'm just gonna keep uh, shooting it with the pressure washer because that's that's gotta come off. Well, she's clean, she's dry and yeah, lots of bad news bears operation stuff going on here this uh engine mount how they got this is horrible um that's not gonna fly but like i was saying the engine's got to come out anyways to fix the the shaft sprocket shaft there and also i noticed that uh this is also welded on the shifter so total hackery but I did get to the engine numbers, which was cool. So I figured out that uh, it's actually a 1990 is the engine that's in it. Um, I'm gonna slap it back together. And definitely, this is definitely a project for another day. All right guys, so yeah, we definitely learned a few things about uh, the old 500-250R combo Franken bike um, that we got going on here. 
So that we'll have to, uh, like I said, take the engine out, split the cases. I'll look for a, a new shaft, actually probably two new shafts because the shifter is also welded on, which is just insane. Um, but you know, the thing does run pretty good and I rode it around. So it, the motor itself is good and it shifted fine and all that. So that's positive, I suppose. But yeah, I'm gonna do some internet homework and see if I can find pictures of somebody who's correctly converted one of these to give me an idea of the right way to do this. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're new, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.